Well, Ron Tamales is no longer Secretary of Education, but he is still being paid. That's right. He's still getting a six-figure salary from the department that he used to run. That is the one. So why is that the case? That's the $140,000 question at the Capitol. That's an unacceptable standard that we should expect for the children in Pennsylvania. Camp Hill native Ron Tomales was Governor Corbett's first Secretary of Education. You don't mind if I sit here? Replaced in May 2013 by William Harner. You have to have very high, rigorous standards. Who was replaced in August of that year by Carolyn Dumeret. So that would be a curriculum map. Tomales is no longer Secretary, but he's still getting paid like one, just under 140 grand plus benefits as a special assistant. He um, does a lot of different things. Dumaresque insists she keeps Tamales busy despite a Pittsburgh Post-Gazette report that examined his calendar and found weeks of no activity in the past year. Records also showed about one phone call a day and just a handful of work-related emails. There is there's no email trail for a lot of folks. I couldn't possibly store all my email, and we delete and cleanse each evening. So that's why there's no emails. What did he do, and when did he do it? Activist Gene Stilp has filed complaints and wants investigations from the Inspector General, the Auditor General, and the Ethics Commission. I think uh, what we're looking at is a um, possibly, possibly, a semi-ghost employee, okay? And I hate to be a ghostbuster, but... Uh... Dumaresque says when Harner was secretary, Tamales rarely came into the office, mostly worked from home. His office is uh, three doors down. You could look at his name on the door. When she yeah. took over, she changed that and pointed out his office just down the hall from hers. Sometimes he's in here too often. I say, go away. <laughs> but Tamales has not been seen since the story broke, Dumaresque said. He's on vacation this week. It's time for Mr. Tamales to actually step in the light and answer the reporter's questions. Um, uh, where, what is he hiding from and where is his work product? Now, Dumara said, bottom line, taxpayers are getting their money's worth. And she said he was a huge help to her during the House and Senate appropriations hearings.